<laughs> Hi there, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Kathleen of American College Strategies, and we're on the campus of St. Mary's College in Moraga, California. I have to say, we're on a sprawling 420 acre campus that I'm finding is a really inspiring atmosphere for learning. It's January where we are here right now, and we have gorgeous weather, green rolling hills. This campus is so big, it actually has an observatory on campus. And I'm inspired, the architecture, Spanish red tile roofs, yes. and a place where you can actually focus and have a, some spaciousness to learn, but also be close to the city of San Francisco. You're about 30 minutes from downtown San Francisco. So if you wanted city life, you're close to it. And if you want an oasis of learning, you have that too. And as an addition to that, what, what fascinated me about it is this is a liberal arts college of 2,700 undergrad students. So you get the real intimacy of a small school next to a big urban environment. And at St. Mary's, when I was looking at acceptance rates, the acceptance rate here is about 80%, about 89% if you apply early action. So I've had a lot of students that are B students and they tell me, you know, I can't get into a college and that is simply not the case. A B student is above average and this is a really great spot for a solid B student. And if you've got a higher GPA, they have an honors college here. So you could apply to the honors college and get even smaller classes and more intimate instruction with professors that I think is a real plus. You know, one thing that's important to know about St. Mary's is that this is a liberal arts school. Now, what does that mean? That means you're getting a strong foundation. As you mentioned, that yes, this is a, a school that people can get into. You don't, you don't have to have a 4.0 to get in here. This is a place to find your voice and to hone, hone what it is that you have to say about what's happening in the world, what you have to say about what it is you're studying. And so what that looks like is you're gonna have strong public speaking skills. You're gonna have strong writing skills coming out of here. In fact, once every year, you're gonna take a class that is something called, um, it's a learning style that you may have actually experienced called a Socratic seminar. So what does that mean? Well, it means your professor is not in front of the room just lecturing at you. It actually means you're with a small group of students who are from all different kinds of majors and you're going through the great books and you're actually discussing them and you're having discourse, you're having debate, you're developing your ideas so that you have something to say. And what does that look like for you in the rest of your life? That means you're gonna actually have a phenomenal foundation, whether or not you go to law school, you go to medical school, you're gonna have a solid foundation to actually use those those skills of discourse and writing and public speaking so you can bring them into the world in whatever it is you do. Another thing about liberal arts that's worth noting, if you're interested in going to medical school, St. Mary's has a phenomenal acceptance rating to medical school straight out of undergraduate. Not many universities can boast a high 80 percentile acceptance rate to medical school straight out of undergraduate. So you're actually really set up to win here at St. Mary's if that is part of your personal ambition. An another thing about St. Mary's is their 414 academic schedule. So you go four months, then you have a one month January term, have a week break, and then you have another four month spring term. And the January term is right now. We're on campus during January term. And I met some students and was asking them about what their January term is like. What they like is that in four weeks, they can take a semester's worth of work and get credit in four weeks. That's a plus. The other plus is what they taking. Mm -hmm. There were students that were taking, a bunch of students, and when I asked them, there were two different things that stood out. One was the course on finding your voice. And the student, when I asked them, like, are you coming out of a class? You know, what is it? And they said, it's finding your voice, who you are, linked to who you are ethnically, but how to, talk and be genuine to yourself mm -hmm. and she said it's a 10 10 you've got to take the course <laughs> and they said the course was about the history 
African Americans, the history, the fashion, and the influence mm -hmm. in the United States. And they were fascinated with it and absolutely loving that January term. And for students, that's a real plus because there are other things you can do in January. Like travel abroad in that January term. We saw programs Tanzania. Cape Town. Cork, Ireland. Galapagos. Who wants to go scuba diving in the Galapagos in their January? Pretty cool. And that is done with about 15 to 18 students and a professor going together and studying about it for those four weeks and coming back. It's pretty extraordinary. I believe you can study abroad for three years. That first year you're you're still in the incubation process, getting used to being in college here, but just talking with students on campus, what extraordinary classes they're taking outside of their major just to pique their curiosity. St. Mary's is a LaSallean school to which I said, what is that? <laughs> John Baptiste LaSalle was a Frenchman who really believed in educating the masses and educating the poor people. And he developed a series of schools, <laughs> not only in France, but now in the United States. And so there are LaSallean elementary schools and high schools. That is what his key saying is, teaching everyone. In fact, he's the patron saint of teaching and learning. And so here we are at St. Mary's in Moraga, which believes service is an integral part. Mm. One of their sayings is, enter to learn, leave to serve. And that is not just a motto, but it's actually something that is embraced by the whole school. Once a month, there is a service day and everybody can participate. You don't have to, but you go out in the community, you can paint schools, you could plant gardens, you could um, go down to Salinas Valley and work with the migrant workers. 2,700 students did 48,000 hours last year alone. And if you're someone who takes a look at the news or your Facebook feed or things that are happening in the world and you wanna do something about it, if you come here and study at St. Mary's, you're going to actually be able to get opportunities and, and curate something for yourself so that you can actually do something and initiate change for good in the world. You know, and, and, and this brings me to this unique learning environment, something that they offer you to make sure you're successful should you come here to study. Not only do you have an academic advisor, not only is there a career counseling center for planning what it is you're gonna do after college, they have a student success coach that you are part of, you're assigned with, and that you, you work with over your four years. So this is designed to be your go-to person if you are coming to college and you're maybe wanting to get into certain things socially. They're gonna help you strategize to come up with uh, solutions for whatever it is you're bumping up against, or maybe you just wanna improve at with those social skills, academic skills, or after college, helping you be successful in your time here at St. Mary's and after when you go into the world, which I thought was really unique. Looking for a college that's the perfect fit for you? From application to acceptance, we take the stress out of the search. Give us a call at ACS.